Governor, uh, in your campaign, you expressed support for the concept of paid family uh, medical leave that would enable people to take care of a sick relative or deal with the birth of a child without losing income. Sure. But when the House passed a, a bill along those lines, uh, you voiced your opposition and it died in the Senate. Now in this campaign, you're again stating support for a, a program of paid family and medical sure. leave. So what would a program look like that you could support? How would it be funded? What kind of benefits would it provide? Well, as you stated, I support paid family medical leave. And of course, it's not a vacation, it's not. Um, but what the Democrats did with their bill, they twisted it into an income tax. They took a good idea and twisted it into an income tax, which is never in the interest of the state of New Hampshire. Um, my plan is, is, is very simple. Um, we're going to provide a public-private partnership that actually my plan will include the state employees. Hers does not. My plan has no startup costs. Her plan has almost $20 million in startup costs. My plan makes sure that businesses uh, below 50 employees can actually participate. Her plan doesn't. And when the commissioners of the state, the experts in the state, went before the legislature, they said they couldn't certify it be financially solvent. It could potentially go bankrupt. How could, a, as a governor, you support a plan knowing that a, a, a single mom might pay into the, the plan and then a couple years down the road when she goes to collect the benefits, it's not there for her. That would be massively irresponsible. So we've created a public-private partnership that really provides a voluntary action. Employees can opt in, they can opt out, it's really up to them. Um, it's, it's, an exciting, it's an exciting time because this would be a new model for the rest of the country okay. and it doesn't create an income tax. That's time. Uh, Ms. Kelly, you've made paid family and medical leave a centerpiece of your campaign. So we'd like to hear the details of what plan you would support, and uh, don't you agree that the governor has valid concerns about the plan that was proposed in the legislature? Well, let me, let me just say that uh, paid family medical leave is important to the people in the state. Um, and uh, it did pass, the bill, HB bill, passed three times bipartisan uh, in, the, in the House, and uh, then uh, my opponent stopped it when it was in the Senate. My opponent had an opportunity to put a plan forward. He had a Republican House, a Republican Senate, and he was governor, and he didn't do it. Now he's talking about uh, another plan. He had that opportunity. We need to build on the House plan that we have and to move forward uh, on that House plan. I, as governor, will make paid family medical leave a reality uh, because it is simply about people being with those they love the most when they're needed the most without having to make a decision about whether they are going to lose their job, not pay their mortgage, or put food on the table. So the House bill that passed three times, bipartisan, it's a good bill to move forward, and that's what my plan would be. I, I'd, I'd like to respond to that. Um, you know, my opponent has talked about how passionate she is about f paid family medical leave. Um, I, I get concerned that we would have a, a potential governor that would not listen to the experts, that would move, move forward even though the plan could go bankrupt. So I want to know why uh, my opponent would support uh, such a plan even though the experts say don't. And in two, twice, when she was a state senator in 2007, 2009, this same bill was put forward. The Democrats controlled the House, the Senate, and the governor's office, yet she didn't even co-sponsor it. I want to know why. I do support paid. Whoops, <laughs> I do support paid family uh, medical leave, and uh, will make paid family medical leave a reality. As I said, uh, my opponent had the opportunity, didn't do it, and then later called it a vacation. So um, I, I do question the commitment to putting forth a paid family leave, and it is not an income tax. Calling an income tax, calling this an income tax, is an old, old uh, play out of some playbook that any time um, a Republican uh, has uh, not an answer uh, as to where to go, they, they accuse, uh, use this as really uh, um, a political ploy and call it an income tax. Governor, you have 15 seconds to respond. Again, my opponent had the chance to support it when she was a senator, didn't even put her name on it to co-sponsor it. And when you have a program that needs a, a public notary to certify you getting out of the tax, that's a trap trapping everybody in. And then you have no option to, to opt out, right? That's a trap, right? That's a trap Governor. because they know they need so many people trapped into the system to That's make it fine. viable.